One of the ideas to come out of postmodern architecture is the use of geodesic domes. Now, geodesic domes are this thin-shelled structure based on geodesic polyhedrons. In other, in another sense, it is basically triangles. And the reason is, if I look at different geometric forms, if I have a square and I put weight right here in the middle of the square, then we're going to end up with a bend, right? It's going to be problematic. That's the problem with post and lintel construction. You can only have a lintel long enough based on the materials that you use. So steel is better than wood, etc. With a geodesic dome, they get around that by using triangles. Here, you won't have that same weight problem. And as long as one of these angles remains stable, the other two angles will, of course, remain stable, which means it's a very strong form. Unfortunately, it's one that stands out quite a bit, which is why we don't see it more often today. And after all, how often do we really build domes? Oh yeah, there's those. In Milwaukee, of course, we have one of the best examples of geodesic domes, the Mitchell Park domes, which are a fantastic thing that you need to go see and replace an older Victorian greenhouse that was on the site prior to their construction in the 1960s or 70s. Now, the geodesic dome is going to be relatively light in weight because wind goes around the structure. The dome can be used for sustainable structures, sustainable hotels, and other things in places where you might not want a big flat-sided building. They also work well in places like arboretums where I want a large area for plants or other things to grow. It lets in a great deal of light. You can see there's not a lot of structural support here. So it's an incredible structure. It's been used on everything from aircraft to building materials since. However, as I said, it's not terribly popular for buildings because it kind of limits the shapes that you can work with. You can only use geodesic forms in some kind of rounded structure. So, in homes, we've seen it used, but it's kind of limited. Now, it's an efficient shape for a home. After all, a sphere is just about the most efficient form for heat transfer, which means these are cheaper homes to heat and cool. The downside is everything is round, so it's very difficult to decorate around. You would have to create flat surfaces just so that you have some place to put a desk or a dresser or anything else. So that's kind of limited their use in domestic settings.